fascinated by the article you put together in the Focus. I'm interested as to what gave you the idea of moving a United Nations idea down to the local level. I, I think that after benefiting from the wisdom of a lot of our colleagues and members in the United Nations Association, what I believe is imperative that to be able to unite nations, you've got to be able to think how you united you are locally. And so there are people who've lived in this beautiful place called Church Stretton and Old Stretton and Little Stretton for a lot of years. I thought I would ask them what has made the Strettons united, and I've learned a lot from them. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested as to how, when the, the group were getting older and we seem to be losing numbers, um, do you think it was the Afghanistan project which brought the town together in terms of the United Nations? The Afghanistan project certainly united a lot of people in the town uh, uh, and it was a joy for the United Nations to learn from a whole range of organisations and people in the Strettons about what they felt about peace and development in the world, which, which is obviously very important to us. But you then took us in a totally different direction by looking at scouts and guides. Some people have asked me, why, why when you're thinking about United Nations, are you spending money on, uh, on, on sending young children on jollies? What, what's, that, what's, what's all that about? That's a really good question, because the scouts and guides of today in 25 to 30 years time are the leaders of tomorrow and their, their feelings and their views about being international with an international outlook is critically important and the scouts, uh, the world, the centenary of the scouts and the guides was a one-off occasion for us to engage with the scouts and the guides as they go on their journeys across the world and make friends and international friendships um, in, in all continents. And this has happened with the Scouts and it will happen again with the guides this year. And one of the best ways of breaking down prejudice is actually meeting people from different countries and being exposed to their culture and their environment and their background. People who learn together, stay together and enjoy life together. And just as a final question, um, many people are thinking with the dominance of the superpowers that the United Nations really can't succeed. What is it that keeps your faith in it? I believe that the United Nations across the world with headquarters in New York are listening more carefully to grassroots opinion than ever before. And I had the experience last year of attending a United Nations build, uh, uh, conference in Manhattan in New York where we were welcomed uh, with, with uh, open arms by UN leaders to talk about the sort of things the United Nations was doing in Church Stretton and we shared the details of the Afghanistan Livelihood Project with different nations who were struggling for peace and trying to alleviate poverty which is a, ma a major issues for the United Nations.